So in this video, I thought I would show you kind of how I go about um, designing my rocks and then how to transfer that image, especially my traceable files, uh, use transfer the files to a rock using an iPad or an iPhone or an Android phone. I believe you can do it on there as well. So when I'm designing my rocks, I always do it in Procreate. Procreate is a, a tablet and phone, I guess would be an Apple app. And it's pretty awesome. So today we're going to be working on this rock. If you go to my gallery, you can kind of see maybe some rocks here that we've already done. Here was one. Um, here's some future uh, projects that we have going on. But we're going to work on this one right here. And in Procreate, if you hit this icon here with the two squares, these are your layers. And I can kind of show you that as I was designing this, um, originally I thought that I wanted only half of the rock painted with a gradient background. Um, and then I played around with whether or not I wanted there to be a black striping to separate the two. So there's the two stripes. Um, and then maybe doing something different to break it up in the middle. Uh, and then I, I didn't know if I liked it that well. So then I went ahead and just added a solid gradient, taking a solid gradient going across the rock and taking the, the uh, black stripes out of the middle. So, and then I just drew out the flowers and the vine. So anyway, this is, and this is where the traceables come from, because once I turn, oh, I guess I'll have to, I guess I can't do that. So this will be the traceable. It'll have color on it. Um, I didn't do it in a separate layer. Normally I'll do the color and the black uh, outline all in a separate layer. I didn't do it on this one. So the traceable will actually have color this time. So you can resize this now. You can't do it in Procreate. Procreate also costs money to purchase. Um, I can't remember what I paid for it, but when you go to put a sheet to trace on, let's see if I can find one. If I try to go and trace this onto a sheet, as I touch my screen, it's gonna readjust my image and so you don't want that you need something you need an app that's going to lock the image in place so i found this app and it is called lightbox trace this is the app we're going to be using right here it's lightbox trace we're going to open it up a lightbox trace we're going to go here go to all photos go there it is Okay, now we can resize this. And what I do is I take my rock that I wanna use. So we're gonna size this to the size of this rock. I need it just a tad smaller. And I think that's good. And then we're going to lock the image Let's see, lock it. Now for some reason when you lock it, it flips your the background upside down. I don't know why it does that, but now you cannot move the image. So now I can take some tracing paper and a pen, let me find a pen, there we go. I mean to use a pencil. Now my screen has, it's a hard screen and it's made to write on because of, uh, it's a drawing tablet. It's got a hard screen. If for some reason you're using something like your monitor or your phone, something that's got a softer screen, you want to make sure that you are pressing lightly. 
So I'm just going to trace this out. You know, normally I just freehand them back onto my rock, but this is how, if you want to use one of my traceable files, this is how I would do it. Or you can try your hand at freehanding. Of course, there's nothing wrong with tracing the file either. It is actually a really good way to learn how to draw, but you don't want to become dependent on it. And this one's going off the rock, so what it's going to do is just wrap down around the bottom of the rock. So now we have this. We can take and put this away. So now we're going to look how this fits on our rock. Because I want it to go from edge to edge. And you can see your rock through so you can, you know, kind of get it lined up in the center. And then that's going to go from there to there. I might move it over just a little bit. So here's the rock I'm going to put that image on. So here's my image. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and cut it out. And I'm going to give myself some room so that I can tape this down. And I can see, now I want this to go at an, you know, kind of an angle. And I want the flowers... down just a little bit because I am going to tape this down. So I want to make sure that it's fairly centered on my rock. I think that looks good right there. And I want it to be about even. So now I'm going to tape this down. Let's see. I'm just using scotch tape. Now it's now at least it's not going to move. So now you have to figure out what side. This is Serral transfer paper. This is what I use. Serral transfer paper. I love this stuff. Um, it also comes in multiple colors. Graphite, white, blue, yellow, and red. I use the white for <clears throat> darker rocks and then I use uh, yellow or graphite but you could use red or blue um, for lighter color rocks now I only have white right now so this is what I'm going to use and you can see I've used this before for a portrait that I did um, it doesn't matter you can use this multiple times and so I'm just going to set this down and I'm going to use a stylus to trans to trace this. Now I want this edge to go all the way down. So I'm going to follow that down. And then this is just a nail dotting tool or a um Now we're going to pull it up. 
it's going to be probably kind of hard for you to see, but the image is there. Let's make sure that you can see this. Can you? You can see that. Okay. Perfect. And there you go. Now all you have to do is start painting it, which we will do in the next video.